Imagine if everything around you had some form of awareness, not just people or animals, but even rocks, trees and tiny particles. This is the idea behind panpsychism, a fascinating concept that suggests consciousness is everywhere in the universe. Panpsychism is the belief that all things have some level of consciousness. This means that everything from the smallest particles to the largest galaxies has some kind of awareness or experience. It's an old idea going back to ancient philosophers like Plato. But it's gaining new interest today as scientists and thinkers look for better ways to understand consciousness. Friends, one of the biggest mysteries in science is why we have conscious experiences. We know a lot about how the brain works, but we don't understand why brain activity makes us feel things like happiness, pain, or love. This is known as the hard problem of consciousness. Neuroscience can show us how brain cells communicate and how different parts of the brain control different functions. But it cannot explain why these processes should create a feeling of being alive. This is where panpsychism comes in, offering a new way to think about consciousness. Supporters of panpsychism like philosophers Galen Strawson and Philip Goff think that consciousness is a basic part of reality, just like space, time and matter. They argue that if everything has some level of consciousness, then it's easier to understand how complex beings like humans develop rich complex experiences. Some scientists also find panpsychism interesting because it fits with certain ideas in quantum physics. Quantum physics studies the very small particles that make up everything in the universe. Sometimes these particles behave in ways that seem to suggest they have their own kind of consciousness. This makes the idea of panpsychism more appealing to some researchers. Friends, panpsychism is a bold idea, but it has its problems. One big question is how tiny bits of consciousness in particles can combine to create the rich unified experiences we have as humans. This is known as the combination problem. Another issue is that panpsychism is hard to test. Science relies on experiments and evidence. But how do you measure the consciousness of a rock or a particle? This makes some people skeptical of panpsychism, arguing that it's more a philosophical idea than a scientific theory. Even with these challenges, panpsychism is an exciting idea because it makes us think differently about the universe and our place in it. It suggests that consciousness is not something rare or special, but a fundamental part of everything. If we embrace the idea that everything has some level of consciousness, we might feel more connected to the world around us. We might see the universe as more alive and dynamic, filled with countless forms of awareness. Thank you for watching.